Do you like my new sweater? I called it Modern Winter. Hello guys, welcome back. Today is a very special episode for me because it is my 70th video. Wow, where has the time gone? Already 70 videos into my YouTube experience since I started last year in October. Can't express, you know, just how excited and grateful I am for all that's happened. And of course, for you guys who have been watching and tuning in, thank you guys so much for watching and also for all the content I've been doing. So today I just wanted to do something really different and talk about my vlogs as a general. So it's a vlog about the vlog. And just give a little breakdown for those of you you know, who have been tuning in and also those of you who are new to this channel, welcome! It's kind of like a little info session on what I've been doing the past few months to let you guys in, you know? Let you guys know what's actually behind my, my mind and how I do things. So let's begin! My channel is called Casual and that's because I didn't want to choose a very strange fancy name. I wanted it to be something very general but also reflecting about me, not my world or I don't know, like some weird name like Dark Shadows or something. <laughs> you know, we keep it really plain and simple, casual. And in my channel, I have three main videos that I do, three different streams. The first one, which you all have been watching, is my weekly vlogs. The second one is this kind, which I have on a sit-down uh, platform called Table Talk. And the third one is called Simulations, and that's where I go and try different things, such as my Kit Kat Ruby experience, my Joe Hisaishi orchestra performance, etc. So three kinds of videos that I'm producing in one channel. I produce vlogs mostly compared to the other two, so you'll see them more often. And the reason is because I need to find more topics to do for the other two, um, for my table talk and also simulations. So they are more specific and they require more time, hence vlogs are something more spontaneous and I can do it on the go. So I'm moving in behind the vlogs on how it's all done. Um, they are usually weekly vlogs or daily vlogs where I record a bit of what I do every day and compile it up into one video. And uh, this is a bit of a secret. When I first started out, I was working from Monday to Friday. So most of my weekly vlogs were actually just Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Two days only. They weren't like the whole week as most vloggers would do. I call them weekly vlogs but they were actually just two days on the weekends because I was only free. Hence I tried my best to go out and do everything I can in those you know two days and make it look like as if I did it across many days. But to be honest, it was only just two days. But fortunately now I have more time to do on different days, so at least there's a variety of you know events happening. In terms of like the design and edit of my vlogs, I edit them on Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. I used to do it on CS6, but then I realized it was quite limited in features, so now I'm 2018. The nature of my vlogs was heavily inspired by a few other vloggers. One of them uh, was from Singapore, called Dikosh, which some of you might have known. And another one, which he's based in Korea, called Edward Avila. I just like the way he just handled his vlogs because they were so natural. So I kind of combined both of them together and create my vlogs which now I'm not really sure what it has become because it seems to be going in all kinds of directions. <laughs> like suddenly I'm like doing cinematic and suddenly I'm like doing just talking and really random things. So it has evolved into all kinds of things. When I first started out, I was very against doing cinematic vlogs. You know, the kind where it just shows things, your scenery and just music and you just watch. You don't really get any talking. I didn't really like doing that as a full vlog because I find that I like talking and um, it gives the viewers, you know, interaction and also to educate them on things that can't be explained through moving things. It has to be said verbally. Hence, I started doing things mostly verbal and slowly and slowly I realized the importance of doing cinematic segments. Not the whole thing, but just a few minutes and, um, you know, you can actually get a feel of what I'm doing. And I leave it there, it doesn't get more than that. It's only just a few minutes of cinematic, probably like two to three minutes and that's it. Not too much. I don't like doing cinematic, but I just include it because it just gives the story much more, um, I don't know, meaning and also understandability. Another thing about my vlogs that I generally do, but not that often is color grading. Again, I don't like color grading. 
because I want to see my videos or let the audience see my videos as it is natural color not putting this fancy blue orange movie filters cinematic you know noir and I don't know all kind of color schemes going on it's so distracting it makes it look like my vlogs are movies and fictitious because of that look it looks like as if it was made in a, a movie studio and hence it's fake moving on i guess you all might have realized that the feel of my vlogs generally are towards a happier side there's never a sad moment or a negative moment or a depressing moment in all of my content because i want to channel this image of myself you know an alter ego where it's always happy always positive and whenever i look back on my old vlogs i'll be like yes this is the happy moment I want to remember. I know a lot of bloggers like to rant on their channel, but I find it's very, um, I don't know, depressing. Don't you think? Hearing people complain when you yourself are having issues in your life and you hear other people complain, it just makes it worse. Hence, I always want to make sure my vlogs are, you know, happier, uplifting. I always aim for upbeat, lively, cheerful, never ever those cinematic, moody pieces that make you feel like oh gosh especially the kinds that make you feel like you're watching a documentary the seriousness of global warming dramatic music but on the other hand i do like sad songs because i have a very sad soul and i write and record those kind of not so happy songs in my other channel Cavinia music and you can hear all about it in my songs in the emotion albums in the ethereal album those are the kind of things that i want to separate you know, a definite line between the sad and Cavs world, which is what I aspire it to be, the happy place. So yeah, that's basically how my vlogs are like. I try to put a logical, coherent story in my vlog, so it's a long storyline of my life throughout my journey here in Melbourne and my future. It kind of links some of them. You watch all of them, you get the full story of my life, which is what, you know, I want it to be. The chronological order of my whole experience of my life where I can look back and say, ah, this is what you have achieved. I can see it so clearly. And, and that's how it is. So just want to thank you guys for, you know, having the patience and also the thoughtfulness to support me and follow me throughout my whole journey. I know I keep saying it all the time, but, but I can't stress it enough. Future-wise, definitely continuing in um, whatever I can. I may kind of like evolve my vlogs to do other kind of things. I kind of started a cooking show, if you watched that one already. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that and um, you know, just trying out different things, experimenting because Cavs world is very big. It's big and wide and able to have direction in all kind of things. It's having fun and hope you guys have fun too. And let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see and I'll try to make it happen. I'm like a genie, try to make it happen. And that's all from me now in my 70th video. It's like a 70th platinum jubilee, but this is just a 70th video. Enjoy my cup of tea now in this cold weather, and I'll see you guys next time.